The real question is whether we use it well. Surveys in North America show that a growing number of clinicians and clinics are using at least one AI tool for documentation, messaging, or scheduling, even if they do not always call it AI. So this is not maybe one day, this is now, bro. The real question is whether we use it well. If you are a patient, you might be thinking, okay, cool, so robots are helping with paperwork. Why should I care? Well, you should care because all that administrative friction shows up in your life as longer waits for appointments, shorter face-to-face -face time, rushed explanations, lost results. Even doctors and nurses burning out and leaving healthcare. Believe me, the boring stuff is the bottleneck. Fortunately, AI can help with things like reading a seven page referral so your visit is booked correctly, pulling together your complex history into a summary before your specialist sees you, helping staff understand weird insurance rules so your claim doesn't bounce, flagging patients who keep missing follow-ups so the clinic can reach out proactively. The theme is the same, stop making highly trained humans do low value repetitive monkey work. And if you're a patient, the payoff is more time and attention during your visit and less sorry we have to reschedule because something fell through the cracks. If we do this right, AI is not about replacing people. It's about making the system less stupid so the humans can actually do medicine.